But first, it's time for some food, and Dean is here making all my favourite things. Yeah, it's not like me to suck show. up, is it? At oh. all. You know, I heard you were a big fan of halloumi, so I, I thought we, we needed to do this for you. Um, Thank and, and you. I, yeah, you know, so. I'm, it's I'm, the only cheese I can get my oldest daughter to eat as well. Okay, right. Well, I'm going to give you a new new technique, a new way of, of okay. cooking it. Because I heard you just normally just grill it. I just yeah. So I've got another way to do this for you. So it might kind of liven that up a little bit. Okay. But I'm actually cooking you a beautiful cauliflower and halloumi salad. Now it's so like a warm salad. Um, if we do, by any chance, get some decent weather, great. To, yeah, I know. Great to do on the barbecue as well. But um, for me. The star of the show is not actually the halloumi, it's the cauliflower. And this little bad boy here, I don't know whether you've seen... Uh, no, I've seen them before. in the shops. I only ever... I, I, I do the same as you do, but with uh, white cauliflower, I've never seen the green one. Right, so this is uh, a Romanesco. It's, mm. Sometimes people call it the, the Romanesco broccoli. It's kind of a cross between broccoli and cauliflower, and oh, flavour-wise. But it's fantastic. Look how beautiful it is. Mm. Um, you can you have know, it on the sideboard. Yeah, or as an ornament, you know, yeah. stick up on the, on the wall. What I'm going to do is just chop this into bite-sized pieces. Now, these little baby ones you can get in your supermarkets, or you can get them, obviously, the, the larger sort, and treat in the same way as you would a cauliflower. Do you know what I mean? Just kind of cut it up, do what you do with it. But what I like to do... <laughs> I don't is... really know how well, I treat you know. a cauliflower. <laughs> well, never you know thought what? about it. For me, it. people just tend to boil them up. Oh, no. You know, boil all the flavour out of them. Do you know what? I like to roast it. I'm going to add a little bit of flavour. So what I'm going to do, just to make sure I'm not using too much oil, Always just use a spoon and measure out. That's a good oil, idea because okay? it's always tempting to use. Exactly, so much. a little bit more flavour in there. We're going in with a clove of garlic. Okay, nothing too punchy. Salt, pepper. Give that a nice little stir, and then we want to roast that in the oven. It's, Ooh, I'd I never have it. cauliflower any other way. I love it like this. It's Actually, so so amazing. That's also the way I get my kids to eat cauliflower because they won't, but they love it like right. this. Right, it's beautiful. Right, about twenty-five to thirty minutes. Gas mark four. 180 degrees. Oh, Be thank perfect. You. And then what happens is it colours off absolutely <gasps> beautiful. Don't look in any of that. Look at that. I knew you were going to do that. You just knew. Did you see me doing that? <laughs> right. So, next stage, halloumi cheese. Now, this is beautiful. It's, it's kind of got a salty texture, but because it's got a high um, melting temperature, you can actually grill it. You can cook with it, OK? Now, so for I like... people who don't know what halloumi is, what is it? Well, it's, it's like a sheep's milk cheese. This one has actually got some mint in it as well, so, which works really, really well with the flavour. But what we're going to do here is just caramelise this off. Now, like I said, you can do this on the barbecue, believe it or not. Um, in the rain. In the rain. But do you know what? I'm going to go straight onto a griddle pan. So with no, no, nothing underneath no, it? No, just literally oil. as it is. And that's going to take no more than one to two minutes. Oh, just wow. to caramelise. I'll keep it on it because it's going to char quite quickly. But you just get that lovely caramelised flavour, OK? And it's... Honestly, it starts to melt. It's got a little squeaky texture. It's beautiful. Squeaky cheese. Squeaky cheese. But do you know what? If it gets a little bit too salty, if you taste it, what you can do, just soak it in water for 20 minutes. That gets rid of some of the excess salt. Before you've... Before, you, yeah. before you cook with it. OK, next stage. I'm going to use some, uh, some chickpeas. Now, I always have Lovely. these in the cupboard. I absolutely love chickpeas. So, literally... Get them into the frying pan and just start to warm them through a little bit. Now, to flavour these chickpeas, they haven't really got a massive flavour in their own. I'm going to use a nice pesto. OK, no pasta pesto. inside. Ah. I love pesto. My daughter makes me make this for her all the time. Really? There's, there's no, no time for shop bought pestos in our eyes. Oh, OK. <laughs> so, traditionally, basil, you get your pine nuts, a little bit of lemon juice and parmesan cheese. I'm actually going to switch this up a little bit. So I've got some rocket here. Oh, it'd be which all peppery. Will add really nice kind of peppery kick. I am actually going to use some basil because I love that fragrant flavour and that real kind of the smell of the summer. Do you know what I mean? Mm. That's, that's what it's all about for me. Summer. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's remind ourselves of summer with summery food. OK, cake. no, I agree. Right. Lemon juice, just for that little bit of acidity. And instead of the traditional pine nuts, we've got some walnuts. They're very good for you. Apparently six a day. Six a day. Well, there's about 15 in there, so we're, uh, we're doing all right. A couple of days. Add... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is going to add a lovely texture, oiliness, all right? Half a clove of garlic as well. Just a very quick tip for you there. This little root in the middle of the garlic. I don't know whether you can see that. The bit in the middle? Yeah. yeah. That's the bit that makes your breath smell. So we get rid of that. Right, that goes Really? In. Seriously. Apparently I never knew that. Your stomach can't digest that little bit. It just sits in there. I love garlic. Right, oil. I smell all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love it. And we're going to blitz this up, right? Dead simple. <laughs> You don't want to see me doing this for the next minute or so. So I will just show no, you very you look quickly. very nice when you do it. This is the texture, OK? That's what you're looking for. If you've got any leftover, put some Parmesan cheese for it, make some pasta the next day. Absolutely beautiful. But I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons just to our chickpeas. 
give that a little Ooh, bit of a I'm stir gonna together. I'm going to do this when I get home. Now, let's check out this cheese here. Just using... Let's look at that. Oh, it looks right. so pretty. That is just stupid amounts of flavour in there. I've banged some of the chickpeas with that lovely punchy pesto, and I've just topped that with some slumbust uh, tomatoes, some onion, and now, finally... Yay! I'm going to finish it off with this beautiful griddled halloumi. <gasps> Gabby, that is a dish especially for you. Thank you. But that roasted cauliflower is just literally, it takes it into a different league. Do you know, but this really are my, all my favourite things. And actually, even in the winter, you can have all of this and it tastes of Oh, without a doubt. Summer. You know, and those little sunblush tomatoes just add that little bit of sweetness just to kind of mix everything up. Mm. We get the thumbs up, yeah? Mmm. Okay. That pesto <laughs> with the halloumi and the chickpeas and... Oh, goodness I'm me. I'm guessing it's on the menu tonight. It really is. <laughs>